Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you how to draw the column layout diagram for the north facing house plan by using AutoCAD software. So in my previous video, I was explained how to draw the beam layout diagram. But in this video, I will cover you how to draw the column layout diagram by using AutoCAD software. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel till now, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. So let's start our video. Before that, I am deleting this uh, right hand side section which is related to beam layout diagram. So click on delete option. Firstly, we will create the dummy floor plan. So for that, just I am copying here. Click on copy option. Click on enter option. Click on OK. So here I am moving this uh, uh, typical floor plan to certain distance here like this. So after this, we have to delete all unwanted things like uh, boundary conditions, text uh, as well as the internal components, external components for the building model. So now you can see here I was deleted all the components, internal components for the uh, structural model. Now we have to apply the some extensions which is related to openings of the doors as well as the other sections. So for this external model, we have to draw the center line diagram of the column. Before that, we need to create some layers. So just I'm selecting layer command, just I'm selecting here. Firstly, we will create one layer, new layer, which is related to grid sections. Okay. So just I'm selecting grid section. So you can select the color according to your consideration. So as per my consideration, just I'm selecting some green color here for the grid direction data. So you can select the line type, just I'm selecting this line type. So the grid will be consisting of the center line only, which is of center point 0.5x. We have to load that to dashed line with 0.5 times of x option. So for that, click on the load option here. It will be consisting of your borders. Uh, center sorry not borders so it will be consisting of your center 2 which uh, which is consisting of 0 0.5 times of x here like this you can select option so select this particular uh, grid section which is of center 2 click on ok option ok again in the same process we will create one more layer which is related to circle option here just I am selecting here so you can select another color depends upon your consideration just I am selecting this uh, color primary color so again we have to select the one more color which is related to uh, text to command here so text to just i am selecting here so you can select the text to color according to your consideration just i am selecting simply i am keeping as a white color for my text so again i am in the same process we have to select one more layer which is related to uh, dimensions just i am selecting dimensions d enter option just i am changing that to red color here okay so initially we need to select the layer which is related to grid section option here okay so we have to select the line command l enter option so firstly we have to start from the center point of this location this time selecting here this time drawing the line which is related to the horizontal direction here like this in the same process we have to draw all the lines from the center point here this time drawing here like this so in a similar way we have to draw the vertical lines also this time selecting the line command this time drawing the vertical lines from this center point So now we can see this is the plan. So after this, we have to draw the circles, which is related to horizontal direction, vertical direction. So for that, firstly, we have to apply the offset, which is related to approximately I'm taking here as five feet, zero inches offset, which is exist in the downward direction section. Again, on the left hand side direction section, again, for the right hand direction section, in the same process for the top section also. So now we have to delete all this uh, internal uh, sections of the lines for this floor plan. Just I am deleting all these sections here like this. Okay. So after that we have to uh, extend these lines. Ex double enter option. So we have to select these uh, particular lines so that the lines will be extended on the left hand side. In the same process we can extend those to uh, right hand side section. In the same process we will extend those to top section. So here I am extending these lines. So in the same process, we will extend those lines to bottom section. Okay. Okay. Now you can see here it was extended here like this. Now we have to delete all these uh, external offsets for this. Next time selecting here. Next time selecting here. Delete here. Now we have to draw the circles for this uh, typical floor plan. So for that initially we will create one circle section. Just I'm selecting circle layer here. So just I'm giving the circle C enter option. So here I'm selecting the circle which is consisting of approximately I'm taking here as two feet zero inches is the radius of uh, that diameter of that particular circle. 
so we have to create the text inside this circle so before that we have to change that to text layer here and we have to give the text command t enter option and we have to select here and we have to give the some name just i am giving the name is a which is consisting of approximately i am taking 1 ft 0 inches is the dimensions otherwise you can take uh, higher dimensions also let us consider 1 ft uh, 2 inches okay so click on here just we have to move this text to center of the box just i am selecting here so now we can see this is the text which is related to a layer now we have to copy the all the text which is uh, to the center point of this so click on the copy option select this uh, layer so we have to paste here like this so in the same process we have to copy this to top direction also click on the copy option just i am selecting here select all this click on okay so here i am selecting the bottom section so here i am attaching here like this in the same process we have to copy to the right hand side section copy option just we have to select all this command click on okay so just we have to select this click on here click on here click on here again click on here again in the same process we will copy this co enter option select this object click on okay so select this uh, particular location just i am attaching here for this okay now we have to change the text here so which is related to b text again in the same process we will change that i uh, am one more text to which is related to c text here again i am changing this to d in the same process we have to change this text to one number again i am changing this to two number again i am changing this to three number so in the same process we will change the text which is related to uh, d layer here this is c next i'm selecting here as b so after all this done so we have to measure the center to center distance between the uh, uh, columns so for that we have to select the dimensions d enter option for the particular layer selection so click on the dimensions command which is related to linear option here select this center point again we have to select this center point okay it will be consisting of approximately 12 ft uh, 5 inch something so again in the same process we will select the center point here center point here like this okay so again in the same process we will measure the distance between the lines in the vertical direction also so here i am selecting this this point again in the same process we will select the starting point here again i am selecting the second point here again i am selecting this starting point again i am selecting second point here okay so in the same process you can measure the remaining dimensions okay so this is the one number it is not a number so here you can select it as one number again this is as two number again we can select this as three number okay so this is the complete process of drawing of the column layout diagram now we have to save this uh, column layout diagram in pdf for that go to another layer which is related to this so click on the autocad software here click on export option click on pdf option okay so here i am giving here as column one. minimize this so just i am selecting this column one so that it will uh, show your column layout diagram for the building structure and model so this is the process of drawing column layout diagram by using autocad software if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for that questions thank you